If you're waiting for your family to come home from work, you might be waiting a little bit longer. The Inrix traffic scorecard just revealed the top cities with the worst traffic. And as KITV4's Ann Sterling shows us once again, Honolulu comes in as the second worst in the United States. If you drive into town out of the west side, this is what you deal with every day. Traffic on the H1H2 merge is a mess. But according to the traffic scorecard, that's not the worst stretch of road in Honolulu. This is the H1 from Waikale into town. Folks spend about two days straight in traffic a year on that road, you know, crawling at about 10 to 15 minutes delay on average a day. Two days, 48 hours, wasted a year just on that section of road. Think that's bad? Jim Box says traffic in Honolulu is not getting better, it's getting worse. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, drivers there are wasting 10 more hours in traffic than they did in 2012, a total of 60 hours on average annually. 60 hours a year. We're just behind Los Angeles. Drivers there are stuck in traffic 64 hours a year. Think about what you can do in 60 hours. You could run 15 marathons. You could sleep for a week. You could watch 30 UH basketball games. So what's clogging up our highways? Box says the answer is tourists. What I think is happening is, is as we're seeing folks, you know, back on the mainland and having more money to spend, being able to move from doing staycations to taking bitter, bigger trips to places like Hawaii, as more tourists come to Hawaii, unfortunately, you guys are, are bearing the brunt of worse traffic. But many drivers here in Honolulu disagree. I don't think so. I don't agree with that. Because the people that have to use, utilize our highways and roadways every day are the people that are commuting to get to their workplace. No, I believe that they're enjoying our hotels. Yeah, our problem is quite simple, uh, a physical volume problem. Cars are big, roads are small. There's a million plus on the island. One solution to our clogged up roads, getting out of your car and taking public transportation. Ann Sterling, KITV4 News.